video, we will discuss about the absolute value and its properties. So let's start with the definition of absolute value. The absolute value of a real number A, denoted by this symbol, is defined by the absolute value of A is equal to A if A is greater than 0, 0 if A is equal to 0, and negative A if A is less than 0. So, magbibigay ako ng example para mas madali, nandito na siya. Kung ang A natin halimbawa ay equal sa 5, then kapag kukunin mo yung absolute value ng 5, kukopyain lang natin yung nasa loob, that is 5. Okay? Kasi yung 5 nga ay positive, greater than 0. So, kinukopya lang natin yung absolute value ng A, kinukopya lang natin yung A. Tinatanggal lang natin yung symbol. Then, Ganun din sa 0, if A equals 0, ito yung condition. So, automatic 0 yung ating absolute value. So, absolute value of 0 is equal to 0. Then, if A is equal to negative 7, and that is less than 0, so, ibig sabihin, kapag negative ang ating real number A, yung absolute value ng A ay equal sa negative A. So, kung isasubstitute natin yan, absolute value of negative 7, is equal to negative quantity negative 7 ito yung a negative a okay and that is negative times quantity negative 7 that is positive 7 so ganun lang kadali yung ating absolute value let's have another definition let a and b be any real numbers or any elements of the set of real numbers then the distance between a and b denoted by this symbol this a comma b is defined by yung distance daw ng a comma b or a and b is equal to absolute value of a minus b equals absolute value or equal sa absolute value ng b minus a so ibig sabihin kapag may makikita tayong dalawang points sa ating real number line Kapag kukunin natin yung distance ng dalawang points na yon na ang coordinates ay A at B, ang gagawin lang natin, kukunin lang natin yung difference nila. Okay? So either A minus B o kaya B minus A. Pareho lang. Tapos, yung value na yon kukunin lang natin yung absolute value. So, ito rin yung isang purpose ng ating absolute value to compute the distance. Kasi ang distance natin, ay dapat positive o kaya 0 so hindi siya pwedeng mag negative kaya gumagamit tayo ng absolute value then kung ganito yung definition ng distance between uh, two points coordinates ng two points so syempre ang distance ng a ang distance ng a tsaka ng 0 that will be absolute value of a okay so pag nakita nyo to ibig sabihin yan yung uh, distance niya doon sa ating origin. So, halimbawa, ito ang ating number line, real number line. Tapos, ang ating A ay negative 2, yung B natin ay 3. Kapag kukunin natin yung distance ng negative 2 tsaka 3, ang gagawin natin, kukunin lang natin yung difference nila. Negative 2 minus 3, ito yun, and that is negative 5. And then, kunin natin yung absolute value ng negative 5 and that is equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung distance ng negative 2 at 3 ay 5 units. Okay? And then, dito naman, sa case na to, halimbawa, meron tayong negative 4. So, kapag kinuha mo yung absolute value ng negative 4, that is equal to 4. Ibig sabihin, yung distance ng negative 4 at nung 0 ay 4 units. Okay? So, napakadali lang yan. Now, let's have the properties of absolute value para sa ating theorem number 6. Let A, B be any elements of the set of real numbers. So, for theorem 6A, the absolute value of A is always greater than or equal to 0. So, ang gusto lang niyang sabihin, hindi pwedeng mag-negative or impossible maging negative ang ating absolute value. Ang ating absolute value ay non-negative real numbers. Okay? Then, for theorem 6b, the absolute value of the product of a and b that is equal to the absolute value of their factors. Absolute value of a 
time, uh, the product of the absolute value of their factors pala. Absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. Then for letter C, theorem 6C, the absolute value of A, quantity squared, so kahit tanggalin mo daw yung absolute value, that is A squared, equal to A squared. Kasi nga yung A squared natin, uh, uh, basta, ipuprove na lang yan. Okay? Then, for letter D, let C be non-negative real numbers, or C greater than or equal to 0. Then, eto ay biconditional. Absolute value of A less than or equal to C, if and only if A is greater than or equal to negative C, but less than or equal to C. So, pwede natin siyang basahin ganun. Pwede naman basahin natin siya as negative C less than or equal to A, and A is less than or equal to C. Okay? So, kayo, kayo bahala kung paano nyo siya binabasa. And take note, ha, by conditional siya. So, kapag ito yung nakita mong given, uh, to follow na to. O kaya kapag ito naman yung nakita mo, to follow na to. Yun yung sinasabi ng statement na theorem 6D. Okay? Then, sa theorem 6E naman, yung A, real number A, always greater than or equal to negative, nasa labas yung negative ha, absolute value of a but less than or equal to absolute value of a okay then for theorem 6f this is known as triangle inequality now the absolute value of a plus b that is less than or equal to the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b okay so ipoprove natin lahat yan okay let's prove theorem 6a Ano nga uli yung theorem 6a? Theorem 6a, absolute value of any real number a is always greater than or equal to 0. So, prove natin yan. Proof. Let a be any elements, uh, any element of the set of real numbers. Then, kung naalala nyo yung trichotomy, no? By trichotomy property, meron tayong tatlong possibilities. So, there are three possibilities for A. So, ano-ano yun? Pwedeng A greater than 0, A equals 0, or A less than 0. So, if A is greater than 0, <coughs> If A is greater than 0, then by definition of absolute value, kung natatandaan nyo, def ay, hindi pala yan. Ito. Definition of absolute value, kapag daw yung A ay greater than 0, yung absolute value ng A ay equal sa A. The absolute value of A is equal to A. Which is, sabi nga, this is greater than 0. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung absolute value ng A, that is greater than 0. Now, kapag naman, yung A is equal to 0, then, same reason, by definition of absolute value, according to absolute value, A equals 0, that is Absolute value of A equals 0. So, absolute value of A equals 0. Then, the last one. If A is less than 0, then, definition ulit ng absolute value, kapag daw A ay less than 0, absolute value ng A is equal to negative A. So, the absolute value of A is equal to negative a. And since A is less than 0, so yung A natin ay negative, imumultiply natin sa negative, so this will be greater than 0. Okay? Now, as you can see, sa kahit anong case, uh, kahit anong statement dito, ang makikita natin ay either greater than 0 o kaya equal sa zero. So, this proves that 
the absolute value of a is always greater than or equal to 0. Done. Now, let's have theorem 6b. So, ano nga uli yung theorem 6b? The absolute value of ab is equal to the absolute value of a times the absolute value of b. So, let's prove. Let a, b be any elements of real numbers. Kapag yung a, if a is equal to b, which is equal to 0, Pag pareho silang equal sa 0, then, yung absolute value ng A times the absolute value ng B will be equal to 0. Kasi, ito 0, ito magiging 0 pag pinagmultiply mo, equal sa 0. Which is also equal to the absolute value of AB. Okay? Kasi yung 0 times 0, that is 0. Absolute value na 0, that is 0. So, okay na yan. So, doon naman tayo kapag yung A tsaka B ay hindi equal sa 0. So, let A not equal to 0 and B B not equal to 0. So, meron tayong apat na cases dyan. Pwedeng positive to, pareho. Pwedeng positive yung A, negative yung B. Pwedeng negative yung A, positive yung B. Or pwedeng negative sila pareho. Okay? So, doon tayo sa case 1. Positive sila pareho. Let A greater than 0 and B greater than 0. Then, by definition of absolute value, yung absolute value ng A will be equal to A. And absolute value ng B will be equal to B. And kapag pinagmultiply natin to, yung A times B, since pareho namang positive yan, that will be greater than 0. Okay? And by definition of absolute value, yung absolute value ng AB will be equal to AB. And as you can see, kapag kinuha mo yung absolute value ng AB, okay, absolute value ng AB, this will be equal to AB, which is equal to absolute value ng A times absolute value ng B. Okay? Kasi ito yung absolute value ng AB equal daw sa AD and yung A equal daw kasi sa absolute value ng A. So, ito yon. Yung B equal daw sa absolute value ng B. So, ito yon. Okay? So, okay na yung case 1. Doon tayo sa case 2. Case 2. Let A be positive and B greater than 0. Then, by definition of absolute value, your absolute value ng A ay equal sa A and absolute value ng B equal sa negative B. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung Kapag pinagmultiply mo yung A times negative B, this will be, ano, I mean, kapag pinagmultiply mo pala yung AB, AB na lang pala, kasi AB yung pinag-usapan natin. Since A ay positive, tapos yung B negative, this will be less than 0. So, kapag kinuha mo yung absolute value niya, absolute value ng AB, Kung less than 0 yan, this will be equal to negative AB. Okay? So, simulan uli natin. Absolute value ng AB, this will be equal to negative AB. And this will be equal to uh, A times negative B. Tama? Nilagay ko lang yung negative dito kay negative B. But still, that is negative AB. 
and since a is equal to absolute value of a so yan tapos negative b equal sa absolute value ng b so absolute value ng ab equal sa absolute value ng a times absolute value of b okay so okay tayo sa case 2 punta tayo sa case 3 let a be less than 0 and b greater than 0 then by definition of absolute value pa rin yung absolute value ng a will be equal to negative a and the absolute value of b will be equal to b okay kasi pag, basta pag negative lalagyan mo lang ng negative pag positive lalagyan mo lang ng ah kukopya mo lang and pag pinagmultiply natin yung ab this will be less than 0 kasi yung isa sa kanila negative yung isa positive so that will be less than 0 at kung less than 0 yan pag kinuha mo yung absolute value ng ab this will be equal to negative ab now absolute value of ab will be equal to negative ab which is equal to negative a times b and what is negative a that is equal to absolute value of a times absolute value ng b so okay tayo absolute value ng ab is equal to absolute value of a times absolute value of b so dun tayo sa last case case 4 let a be less than 0 and b less than 0 then absolute value of a will be equal to negative a and absolute value ng b will be negative b by definition of absolute value and kapag pinagmultiply mo yung ab that will be greater than 0 so bakit greater than 0 kasi pareho silang less than 0 pareho silang negative so kung ang ab ay greater than 0 Kapag kinuha mo yung absolute value ng AB, that will be equal to AB. Okay? Now, absolute value of AB is equal to AB, which is equal to negative A times negative B. Diba nga? Absolute, yung product ng two negative numbers, uh, I mean, product ng negative A tsaka negative B, that will be equal to AB. Na-prove natin yan. Hindi ko pala pwedeng sabihin na two negative numbers kasi nga yung a tsaka B sila mismo yung negative numbers 2 negative numbers so ito pala yung magiging positive na numbers product of 2 negative numbers that is equal to positive okay kasi A less than 0 B less than 0 and yung negative A natin yan yung absolute value equal sa absolute value ng A tapos yung negative B that is equal to absolute value of B okay so, wala rin tayong problema. Absolute value of AB, that is equal to absolute value of A times absolute value of B. So, for any case, na-prove natin na yung absolute value ng AB ay equal sa absolute value ng A times absolute value ng B. So, therefore, sa kahit anong real numbers, absolute value of AB is equal to absolute value of A times absolute value of B for any case. And this is done.